the two if, she's, if she talks again, I'm going to walk out of here. Because it's none of your f oh, business. Fine. I need to say you, something. You're going to shut YouTube. up because it's not your business. Why? Why am I now here then? hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl az neil williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay guys so um so watched or saw the reunion show yesterday i did a video giving you guys an update on everything that happened now today I woke up this morning and I said, you know what, let me come and analyze so many things I saw at the reunion yesterday. Yes, of course with receipts, because Azine is not going to come here without receipts. And um, I'm just going to be picking on some certain issues that were raised yesterday. I mean, we saw some shocking moments. I mean, um, Dora's outburst on Watoni, Katarina's revelations about Ozo, Ozo denying, praise confirming, the last statement Watoni made about some BJ something, you know, so we are going to talk about that. So let's start with the Dora and Ozo feeling saga. Yes. Now, let me point to the fact that when Dora said that Ozo knew that um, she had feelings for Prince, Ozo did not object. Ozo never objected to that. Now, I'm going to show you guys a video that proves that Ozo actually knew from the get-go that Dora was, in fact, interested in Prince. Watch this. It's a situation as well. That's not me that's her 40th. I'm not the one who is... No, 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 no. I'm not no, the no. one who is shouting that um, Dora, Prince, you know, Prince is my spec and I'm talking to you every time. Put yourself... Okay, let me do this. Okay, no, no, no. Let me do this. Okay, guys, you guys have seen it, but I just want to put out a disclaimer on this video. I really don't care what anybody is going to say. Is it is biased? Is it is this? Is it is does not really care at this moment. I'm just going to say what I think about this, no matter whose ass is God. And every Saturday, I'm going to be doing this after like the um, whole reunion show for the week, and I'll come back and I will analyze and pick, you know, the highlights of the moment or of the week, and we are going to talk about it. So, having heard that Dora actually made mention that Prince was her spec from the beginning contrary to what everybody is saying that it was at the end so we all can now establish that fact that also knew that prince was you know um dora's spec but did not actually say it even when he called the whole prince author roundtable meeting when you look at the whole also and dorothy thing we see how society looks at um a man and a woman's friendship Yes, especially when you're having friendship with a person that is not of the same gender and you care about the person They just tell me that you are romantically inclined to that person Now a lot of us are finding it hard to believe that Dora showed care to Ozo out of just care You know, but we feel in our hearts that there is something more Which she has obviously come back again and again and again and again to say she did not have feelings for Ozo. Now, what is it? What do we want Dora to do? I want you to tell me in the comment section what you want Dora to do to prove that she actually didn't have romantic feelings for Ozo. Did she care for him? She never denied that, but she did not like him as per you know a boyfriend kind of situation. Number two, um, Watoni and Dora. Yes, guys. So this situation happened where Dora was shouting down at Watoni. A lot of you in the comment section in my previous videos have been saying, oh, Ezine is by yet. Why did Ezine say that uh, Watoni bought in? But she obviously did. She obviously did. Now, you people are not going to compare it with what happened with Katarina and Prince and other situation. We're still going to come to that. She actually did. Now, why did Dora react the way she reacted? Yes, Katarina commented. Um, other people had their opinions. Apart from Katarina, I don't think any other person commented that was not asked. So, why do you think Dora had that outburst? Listen to Watoni's um, description of what she feels happened between Ozo and Dora. Head. You are sipping like she was always explaining it. If you're my friend, I can explain it once what? and move on. One time she's like, Okay, you are sipping like this, you are sipping like that, and that, and that. Dorothy, let me finish. So then there were times when she's kind of, I won't say her, like with conviction, Oh, do this, do that. It was like she was irritated being told what um, was always complaining about, about 
Ozo Anengi. Yeah. So if you're my friend, I shouldn't be bored or irritated about you coming to complain to me about your relationship situation. Yeah. I should even be able to, okay, this is happening. I want to listen. I want to be able to advise you. So yeah. she kind of was not all about it. Don't tell me about it. Okay, guys, now having listened to Watoni, you, if you are being sincere with yourself, you could see that Watoni, her tone, what she said, was not coming from a place of defending Ozo or trying to prove that Dorothy was, in fact, in love with Ozo. She came from a place of animosity. I mean, she used the word bitter. She said, I mean, look at the thing she said. She said that Dora was not supposed to get pissed or irritated because of the fact that Ozo kept coming back and back and back, you know, back and forth, you know, with her about Nengi's problem. He always complained about Nengi to Dora. Now, let's be truthful to ourselves. Me, I'm a fan of Ozo. I'm going to say it. I'm shameless about it. I love Ozo from the get-go. But I got pissed at Ozo because of this same back and forth. Like, why can't he stay in one place? If I, as a fan who is outside, could get pissed of his back and forth, how much more somebody that is more closer to him? I can understand Dora at that point because I can't be giving you advice and you are still doing the very same thing and you're coming back to me knowing the whole situation. So yeah, that is it. So I guess this is why, because of the way Watoni presented it, this is why Dora, you know, had that lashing out at her and again that's not the only place she spoke when dora was trying to explain to ozo about the whole thing she was trying to butt in but even when dora tried to intercept you know when ebuka was talking ebuka was like let me finish let me finish because he was the one originally talking and dora had to like calm down i mean what Tony should like it became as if she had a personal vendetta against dora which to me does not look like it was an ozo situation now did she deserve the shouting maybe she did she chopped insult because she put her mouth where she's not supposed to put her mouth. Now, let's also look at the last statement, you know, Watoni made to Dora or said to Dora. Listen. The girl that gave it huh? right. Uh, yeah, cool. In the house, for that matter. Who? Whatever. Yes, now this is the statement that, ha, ha. At first, I thought I did not hear correctly. I had to go look for this video to see if I actually heard correctly. Now, there is a big just something involved. Now, since she said it, I also wish that during the course of this reunion, they will revisit this thing and let us know who the or the receiver of this whole thing is. Is it Ozo? Which I don't think is Ozo, to be sincere. Is it Prince or Bright? Oh, who is it? We'll like to know because I'm not going to talk about it if we don't know who it is. A lot of people are speculating that it's Bright O and maybe that is why Watoni is paying. I'm not going to say that, you know, I'm not going to say that until they talk about it because I sincerely wish they talk about it. And again, that brings us to, you know, um, the conclusion that a lot of things happened in that house that they did not show us. And I'm starting to believe the narrative that there is a, a particular set of people they want to paint in a particular light and there is a set, particular paint set of set of people they want to paint in a particular light. So we will also re revisit that as the show goes on. Now, let's talk about the whole Katarina and Ozo saga. Hmm. So Ozo clearly lied. Ozo lied. He's human. I love him, but he lied. You know, you could see that in his face, the way he was reacting when Katarina, you know, came at him with the whole revenge thing. I mean, I don't think it's something he should lie about. I mean, um, it's understandable if he felt that way, you know, with the way Nengi was curving him in the house. It's understandable. I mean, did he cost it? Yes, he cost it. Is it understandable that he had to feel that way because maybe his family or his friends or his fans felt disappointed? Because actually they did. You know, he it's fair. I mean, I didn't see any reason why he should deny that. I mean, okay, fine. Did you sleep with uh, Katrina? No. You only wanted to use Katrina, you know, to make Nengi jealous. Nguano, you've done that. You've done it. So we move on. There's really no big deal about it. The reason why I feel it was a big deal was because Ozo denied and praise had to come in to confirm. So yeah, that's that's basically what I think about that. Now, um, Nengi, I feel what else did I notice in the show yesterday? I feel Kidwire understands Nengi more than Ozo and Prince. I just feel like, or maybe both of them have similarities. I'm not saying love. Please don't be shipping. Don't mis don't you know misunderstand me. I just feel like Kidwire and Nengi have this 
I don't know, similarities and they get to understand each other more. I mean, it was Kid Wilder that had to break it down that, you know, Nengi was not actually using anybody. And you also remember back in the house, Kid Wilder was the one that was coaching Nengi sort of about how to go about with these guys because they were head over heels, you know, over her. Now, about Nengi and Prince, a lot of times, over months now, we've been hearing the, um, the um, narrative that Nengi dumped Prince. There was a rejection. There was really no rejection. Two people liked each other. They met each other. They did not like what they saw. They backed out. While this one was backing out, this one was already backing out. That's what I saw at the show. I mean, Prince had a conversation. I didn't even know Prince had a conversation with Ozo because of Nengi. Seriously, I didn't know. I don't at this point. I don't even know which people I was watching. So I didn't see any rejection. We fall out of love or likeness. I can miss something. I don't see this as a big or like we are making it a big deal. I really don't see it. It's not something to shame anybody for. You can love somebody and you real you they actually wear a thing. Now that's another narrative that a lot of people were like, oh, they were never a thing. Even Nengi admitted that she liked Prince. Prince admitted that he liked Nengi. So there was a likeness between the two. So agenda people that were saying it, um, somebody was liking somebody and the other person was not liking it. Please let it rest. They liked each other, which is normal. Now, um, let's talk about Neil. Hmm. Neil is a talkative. And when he talks, he does not recollect. He tried to save his face, you know, from everything. And he was shocked. I feel Neil was shocked because he did not know that Prince is that kind of a guy that when you tell something, he remembers it. Me, even me, I'm shocked that Prince remembered everything that Neil said word to word. He actually quoted Neil. Now, while Neil was trying to defend himself, he made a lot of blunders. Number one. He painted Nengi as material, materialistic. Yes. I mean, what do you say when you say a girl, she's the kind of girl, because she's a fine girl, she's the kind of girl you can only get when you have the facilities, which is money. You know, even though Nengi had to, you know, fist bump him and, you know, agree with it, because, I mean, they are good, they are friends, you know, but that does not take away the fact that he painted Nengi as materialistic. Number one. Number two, he also indirectly made his boo V look cheap. Yes, guys. I mean, if I'm dating somebody and you are there praising another woman and saying that before you date that kind of a woman, you have to have the facilities. And knowing that me and all of us were in the house and I'm the one that ended up with you, how does that make me feel? I mean, looking at V's um, countenance, you could see she was not so pleased. Will that make them break up? I don't think so because they love each other. But I think, you know, they will have some kind of conversation because of that. Neil just has to watch his words, watch, you know, his... He, I mean, during the course of this show, a lot of things that Neil said will come out. Trust me. A lot of things he said behind people's back will come out. So basically, you know, that is it for me at, um, and the show. Neil, you know, obviously said things he did not he ought not to say and um a lot of people were like okay prince was defending um dora because they are in good terms let's not forget that while the reunion show was being aired prince and dora were not in good terms dora blocked him and we will get to that part too where we also get to talk about you know that situation with dora and prince i cannot wait because i'm actually anxious to know what exactly went wrong with these two and it's quite admirable that even as they are not in talking terms at that point prince also stood up for her now to me that is a man <laughs> i don't know like he didn't say okay because we're not in talking terms you know and you know he did not you know um or he would not defend her now that brings me to another thing the whole watoni issue i feel also that watoni needs some i don't know what to say i don't know what to call it because she actually was very petty now you all remember that this big brother niger show was you know filmed like what uh, months ago so it's not really something that is life so basically this means that whatever its situation that has happened they probably would have, you know, settled it. I mean, I've seen Watoni liking Dorita's pictures, you know, being in her comment section. I've seen that. So now that brings me to this. Why would Watoni put out something like this? Now, she put out this tweet last night, and I'm going to read the tweet. She said, the balloons, the balloons were found shaking. And of course, I mean, um, if you were the person 
and knowing the situation, who do you think or what would come to your mind? And a lot of people started speculating that, okay, she was throwing jabs, you know, at Dorothy, which even me, I thought the same. Now, some people responded and said, and I do not res I do not subscribe to cyberbullying. I do not subscribe to trolling. A lot of people were, went as far as saying things about her child and all that. And looking at it, it's not worth well reading at all. So I'm not even going to read it. Fans should just calm down. But Watoni was really in the wrong. It was wrong timing. I mean, and when in her own explanation, she said she was referring to the balloons. Like, which balloons? What the F? Which balloons? Ah, oh, what's when he just keeps doing this? And at the end of the day, she just makes it look as if she is a victim. Like, I do not admire. I do not um, admire people, you know, that came at her with all those, you know, her son. Keep kids out of, you know, out of this kind of situations. It's not worth it. But did she act right, you know, with what she put out? No, she was in the wrong. Well, later on, she came out and she posted this apology on her page. She said, I'll do this because I stand for so many things, but body shaming. Now, those who misinterpreted my words, I never body shamed Dorothy, but sure, and will never do that, even in my next life. Dorothy, in case you also misinterpreted what I wrote, I am publicly apologizing to you. Again, I did not and will never body shame you. Um... At Dorothy Bacho. Side note, I learned that people don't care about being human when they hate, dislike you in reference to slide five and six. Now slide five and six is basically when people talked about her kids and you know her in the um, delivery room. I don't want to talk about that because that's nasty. Now she put out this apology and all that. Um, I don't know what to say about this apology. I just um, feel like she should not have put out that tweet. It was wrong timing. Whether you are referring to the balloons, of course, um, we all know there was even a time that Dora um, referred, you know, to herself and said there was a time she put out something on Twitter. You guys remember back in the house, she said she put out something on Twitter and said about balloons that people were likening it to her bosoms, you know. So, and why would Katarina, sorry, why would Watonina make reference to this? So, yeah, it's obvious she was actually talking about Dora. Let's forget about all that, I beg. We are all matured people. We know the truth when we see it. The fact that we choose not to talk does not mean we do not know. So, Watoni was in the wrong and she apologized. Which she later came out also and deleted, you know, that Instagram post. So, yeah, that is it. You know, I just feel like I just have to make this video. You know, these are the highlights. Now, next week is going to be explosive. We see Talani Badge telling praise that he is not man enough because um she, i don't know why <laughs> because they didn't tell us why we gotta wait till monday to find out and she also went ahead to say that she got on or she kind of like sort of hooked up with neil because she wanted to make prince jealous to me that's a weak comeback why i mean why would you feel like the only way you can make your man jealous is to try to color be your best friend's man hey it's gonna be a field day on monday and i cannot wait okay guys let me know what you think and at this point like i said once again i said what i feel you don't like it fine you like it fine okay guys thank you so much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video tell me which of you know the whole thing that happened yesterday was your highlight let me know in the comment section take care of yourselves guys and have yourself a beautiful day ahead bye guys